So, with the announcement of yesterday's new Polaroid printer, mm, yes, printer, high print, I believe it was called, it got me thinking. The pictures look phenomenal, right? And so, uh, it reminded me of something that has already been out before, and that is this guy right here, the Polaroid Mint. This is the camera version, so you take a picture and it prints out the picture. There's also a wireless printer version of this. Same thing! just without the camera. So we're gonna dive into this right now, go over the features, details, quality of the prints, and much, much more. But with the announcement of the high print, the pictures look super, super good. But there's no information if it's using the same paper as this. I have a sneaking suspicion that it does. And well, let, let's just go sit down and do some uh, talking about this because this guy, is it worth the money? today's video i'm just another chris and today i really wanted to talk about this camera i was already going to talk about this camera but polaroid has just announced a new wireless photo printer called high print and i definitely want to talk about this today i postponed some other ones i was going to do i was going to wait for this one to be last because well it's not the best camera out there especially with the polaroid's name on it it's fun it's cool i want to acknowledge it i love anything that is instant photography related, just in photography in general, as well as video and all that great stuff. So it's still really fun. If you're here to find out if you would want to get this, if it's good and whatnot, I'm not gonna string you along at all. This camera, don't, don't buy it. It's on my don't buy list. Is it fun? Yes, it's still fun and I kind of enjoy it, but for print quality, it's not the best. I'm gonna dive into all the details in this in just a few moments, but I wanna address this new printer that Polaroid is putting out. They're calling it the high prints and the print quality of these images look fantastic. However, the print quality of this camera here they showed looks fantastic. Beautiful pictures, but it, you don't get those. Now, Polaroid has not shown on their website what paper brand they're using. They are using what looks to be their own proprietary paper, but uh, I have my doubts about that. What they used before in this was called the zinc paper. It's kind of like a colored thermal paper. So there's no ink, there's no developer pods, there's no nothing that gets squished and spread across the film. Like these guys do the traditional Polaroid cameras. And so it's, you know, not the best quality at all. So is that what they're using in the new thing? Well, if they are, watch this video because this is basically gonna be the same thing as the printer. But maybe, maybe not. I don't have it in my hands right now, but these are some of the results you could expect. All right, so what paper does this actually use? That is two by three zinc paper. This one's the Polaroid brand. However, it's all the same. Uh, the Polaroid ones, the Kodak ones, there's Canon ones. Uh, I think that's it, maybe Fuji, don't hold me to that, but I've only seen those three, there might be more. So it's not really like a proprietary paper, it's still zinc and zinc's its own company. So let's talk about the operation of this camera, go. So it has some basic operations and you can turn it on, there's a little button right there, you press it and you turn it on. And it takes forever to turn on. Uh, so once you do get it on, it has color, black and white, and sapia filters, as well as an option to take a frame. What's that, what's that exactly? Basically, it turns into an Instax Mini at that point. Uh, not quite the same dimensions, but pretty close. It just adds a border to it. Uh, this thing takes forever to take a picture. So let's take a picture of my setup right now. I'm in color, no frame, no timer, no nothing. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to frame it up. What's going on? I should wave to the camera. Ah! That's it. There it comes. Let's wait for it. There we go. Takes a long time. And as to be expected, that's some crappy picture quality. <laughs> It's not great. It doesn't use any ink. So I was telling you about the frame of this and I'm gonna show you what it does. So get it into the frame mode. All you gotta do is press the button and now it's lit up and it's in frame mode. And if I take a picture, it actually kind of, it prints two 
first one's blank and then the other one works. Now this isn't like a standard Polaroid that you're used to. If it prints the blank one, it's like it's garbage. You can actually just stick it back in. So it's not the case in that front, but still a little bit of annoying. So let's uh, let's take a picture of my monitor over here. Uh, let's do vertical format and let's hi. All right, picture has been taken. All right, here comes the first one. There is the picture. It's kind of like an Instax Mini, uh, but not as good. And yeah, it printed a second blank one. I don't know why. It could just be a bug for this camera, but I don't know. So what else did this come with? This came with a wrist strap. Uh, it's like this plastic, it's a plastic one that goes in there. It has the internal battery. You get about 50 prints or so before you have to recharge it, which is okay, I guess. It's not like great, but it's not horrible. Um, it also has a micro SD card slot. Yeah, so all the pictures that you take with this and print out, you get a digital copy of it as well. And are the pictures better than the actual prints? Not by much, not by much at all, unfortunately. That is pretty much it on that. That's what all it really came with. And a charge cable, but that's it. Oh, uh, worth noting, if you bought it brand new, it actually came with a sample pack of five prints in the box, which is pretty cool, neat little touch. But how do you load it? It's pretty simple. Uh, on the back of the printer camera, because it's both, uh, you pull down the little tab like that and it pops open and then you slide the paper in. Now, once you close it, what you need to do is take a picture almost like you would with an Instax one. Uh, Polaroid is pretty good about when you put a new pack in it spits out the dark slide immediately. This one doesn't have a dark slide, but what it has is a calibration card that looks like this. It's just a card with some barcodes and whatnot. What you need to do is take the picture first, this will spit out once it's done, and then you can take the picture again. However, what I did notice, not always, it was kind of intermittent, but you take a picture and it prints this out, it knows that this is the calibration card, it will then go ahead and print out another one. So, but it's pretty slow. So what you, you gotta be careful is if you take a picture with this and it's your first one, just wait a couple of minutes to get the first picture, then you can go ahead and start shooting again. If you don't, and this comes out, and you're like, oh, it didn't work, and you take another picture, it'll still continue to print the last one, and then the other one as well, so you burn two pictures, essentially. So that's something to keep in mind. It didn't do that every single time, however. Uh, it's just something that happened every now and then. It's something to be worth noting. So picture quality, well, as I was saying, is this worth picking up if you're wanting something that has good quality? No, this is not something that you'd want to pick up for excellent, pristine, beautiful, unique quality. Like Polaroids, they aren't necessarily perfect and whatnot, but it's kind of the charm of Polaroids. They have that feel of instant photography. It's its own look, it's its own style. This is just reminiscence of early 2000 webcam photos that you would post on MySpace. That's the quality of these prints. Pretty much every single photo that I've taken with this thing, I get these little buffer lines in the image. That is from an inconsistency of the roller as it's pushing the paper out. Like it'll start coming, 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 and stop for a second. It comes, stops, come, stops, stop, stop, come, and stop every few seconds, and it's getting exposed, if you will. It's actually more of a heating process. Uh, it's thermal, so it's getting a little extra and a little bit lighter. It's not consistent. Uh, so you're gonna get that more than likely with your all your prints. <laughs> Framing with this guy isn't too bad. Definitely Polaroid cameras can be a little bit worse actually. When you're taking this in vertical portrait mode, you're still parallel with the lens. The lens is down here at the bottom. Uh, then above it you have a selfie mirror, which is pretty accurate. I have took a couple selfies, they're pretty accurate. Uh, and then you have your viewfinder at the top. Now, when you want to take some uh, horizontal pictures, that's when you really have to be uh, careful with the viewfinder. You're making sure you compensate for the offset uh, from the lens. I took a you know a small handful, a couple packs of this. I really wasn't wanting to dive too much into it. I thought it'd still be pretty fun. It's nice because it fits in the pocket really good. The, the form factor of it's really, really cool. And it's still nice to be able to just print a picture right there you take it and bam you have it that is the beauty of polaroid and you still get that with this camera uh, it's just the quality isn't that good so i guess it really goes down to what you're expecting from it and who it's for so maybe this is for uh, a younger kid that's maybe taking pictures at school with their friends so maybe that's what that's for but in addition to 
the pictures, they are also stickers. You can peel this off and stick them onto stuff, which the paper for the high prints, the new one that Polaroid just put out, it does the same thing. That's why I'm thinking it's this zinc paper. And so I think they're just rebranding, reskinning uh, something new uh, under this, which is kind of, it's kind of unfortunate. I cannot find it on their website listed anywhere that it uses zinc paper. It just shows their branded Polaroid paper. Who knows, maybe they bought them? I don't know. An honorable mention time. This isn't Polaroid, this is the Kodak Classic Smile. Uh, it's basically the exact same thing as the Polaroid one. However, uh, it's on a much larger format scale. You push a button, pop it open, take a picture. However, there's also a Bluetooth connectivity feature on this to where you can actually print your own photos from your phone. So you're gonna get a lot better, in theory, quality pictures than if you were to take a picture on this because this guy is, this is like a early 2000s flip phone, cell phone, crappy webcam camera thing. So it's not great it's for pictures. Uh, and they're quite large, which is really cool. It's kind of rem reminiscent of a medium format six by six style square. Uh, pictures which is pretty cool it's pretty large and that's what really drew me to this because I was gonna feature this in some other stuff for later but it didn't work out because it's just not up to snuff for quality unfortunately um, we're not talking about this camera today I just want to touch on it because it's the same paper just on a larger scale so it's not really a reflecting on the printer it's really reflecting on the paper quality you can only get so much out of this thing and that's what the new polaroid high print uh, is going to be using i guarantee you they're using zinc paper in their camera if they're wrong i will make a video about announcing it and i will eat crow but until then until they announce what paper it is or i get some in my hands or see it in person i know they're using zinc paper and it's not the best a few of them i took here like they'll probably look great on camera but in person, they do not look that great. But these were all taken uh, with other cameras, like my high-end cameras, to then just print them off. So two different companies with the same paper getting almost exactly the same quality of prints really doesn't give me any high hopes for this new printer that's coming out from Polaroid. Hopefully I'm wrong. I hope I'm not t like trying to badmouth Polaroid. I love Polaroid. Uh, and I mean, I've got a lot of Polaroid cameras. Let's just wrap some things up real quick. Is this camera worth picking up if you're looking for something that has good high quality? No. Is this camera worth picking up if you want to have some fun and just print some photos? Absolutely. Is this camera that you should get if you're a professional? Eh, probably not, but that's really up to you. Do I regret buying this? Mm, maybe. So, I mean, I still have fun with it. Am I gonna continue to use it? Probably not. It's probably just gonna go set up somewhere on the shelf and just collect dust. <laughs> I don't know, what are your guys' thoughts? Do you have this? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Please argue with me in the comments below. I would love and love, love, love to have those conversations with you all. I do read every single comment and I do try to respond to every single one as well. So please, let's chat, let's hang out. And if you want even more behind the scenes and other cool things that's going on here in the Just Another Chris world, consider checking out the Instagram page, just underscore another Chris. Let's chat over there too. Join in on the fun. So yeah, I think that's all I got for you. Yeah. So until next time, look out for some new content coming soon and some other stuff too. I got some really cool things coming. I'm really excited about. Thank you so much for watching this video. Consider smashing that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.